Okay. Ma'am, why uh, did you get this? Second, so. Why did you get this? Ma'am, why did you get this? Um, hold on. Let me go ahead and do the next card for you then, Steve. Are you mad? Are you mad? Why are you redeeming cards? This is Kit Boga. He is a Twitch streamer, a YouTuber, and a scam baiter. But what is a scam baiter? Well, they trick and waste time of scam callers who try to steal money from unsuspecting innocent people over the phone. Scam baiting seems to be getting more and more popular with videos flooding social media. I mean, I found Kip Boga on uh, TikTok. Usually, Kit Boga operates by himself, but now him and a few others from the scam baiting community are creating an artificial intelligence bot to waste scammers' time. I, I really need some help here. Please tell me what to do next. Using speech recognition, it can work out what a scammer is saying to them over the phone and respond with some set statements. That what kind of problem you got, sir? If you won't tell me the problem, what you're facing, how can I help you? I think I accidentally broke my laptop. I really don't know what I did. And it can keep on going on and on until the scammer finally recognizes that it's talking to a bot. If I could keep them on the phone for an hour, that was an hour they weren't talking to someone else. Right, like I wanted to, I wanted to get out there and do something. Whenever I got those dozen inbound phone calls every day, like I can't answer all of them. So if I just forwarded those to an AI, and even if it only wasted 10, 20 minutes, that adds up. While Kit Boga can and has wasted up to 37 hours of a scammer's time, this AI at its current stage can do that for about 30 minutes before they realize. Some lady was trying to get my attention. Okay, what were you saying? So this AI is responding with set statements and it's using Kit Boga's own voice to speak. But in the future, he hopes for the AI to create its own synthesized voices and use machine learning to pick up what a scammer is saying to them and come up with their own response. I don't want to waste your time if you could get a manager for me. <laughs> I swear the AI said that exact same line like 50 times in this one call. I really do think we could get it to a point where we could allow people to, like if they get a scam call, they would just be able to forward it right over to one of these AIs. The tricky part would be like, you don't want them forwarding their mother-in-law's number or something. <laughs> like that. But yeah, I think it, just it being more autonomous or automated, just doing its thing. I just think that would be funny, you know? <laughs> we'll see. So what's it like being on the receiving end of this AI and actually having your own time wasted? Let's find out. I'm trying to talk to David. He and I spoke yesterday and I owe him a couple gift cards. David is not here. Can I take your gift card codes? All right, let me give you the code that was on the back of the card. G. No, you can't talk to him. Uh, he's not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What, what did she say? <laughs> um, where would you like to fly to? I'm taking a trip to New York. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to say New York. <laughs> now, as you can see, the AI does have some teething problems but it's still in its early stages. And they're hoping the next big iteration of this will be available later on in the year. Wait.